I don't know if you can hear me, it's windy as heck. Just gonna take a peek inside. Some empty beers in there. It's a bit nasty. It's not too bad. Everything's got bullet holes in it out here though. It's a cool old chair in there. And huh. I might take that. I should really have cleaned this truck, but this is how it usually is. Or if it is clean, it doesn't last that long. Hey guys, so I'm heading out east. Um, I'm going into the prairies, actually just about 30 minutes west of the Badlands, but it's still a pretty cool area. Lots of deep coolies, lots of cool old uh, abandoned homesteads. And I realized that my Toyota 4Runner is gonna go over the 100,000 kilometer mark. So I figured I'll kind of do a review and an update on that for some of you that might be interested. And it's just kind of a cool spot. So we'll take a little tour with me here and I'll fill you in on the Forerunner and we'll do some sightseeing. these tires on about uh, when it was last year and these replaced the crappy Dunlop tires that were on it and I think I got about 40,000 on these now and they're awesome this is the Nitto Ridge uh, Grappler and their stock height 265 70 16 and I've been loving these things they're they're awesome no issues with them at all and again I think I got about 40,000 ish on them in around there anyway Take that. And look at this coyote scat. Tons of coyote crap here. Hey, what a cool old building. You can hear the gophers. I don't know if you can hear them in the wind. Check this spot out. This is awesome. Cottontail rabbit just ran by. I don't know if you saw him. This is pretty cool in here. Got the barbecue, got the beers going. And looks like somebody playing with a shotgun here and maybe a 30 cal. A couple of 
couple of campers put together. Not bad. And yeah, lots of blasting going on here. Old foundation here. And there's the basement. There's no dings on it, there's no big scratches. Um, just the usual stuff. I do get a ton of. So there's a lock on the door here, but they got bigger issues than that. So here, this is it, we're inside. This beauty old drain elevator. Check it out. This thing is awesome. Some of the floors going through for sure. Stuff blowing around the wind. You can see the chute there and inside here. bird just flew right by my nose and you can see the chute there check it out pretty cool and these guys check that elevator on the belt so in the basement there'd be these big huge uh, drive shafts I believe I don't know a ton about this stuff but I should because they're disappearing these old guys but isn't this wild look at this lever here I can hear something up top. It's all kinds of noise up there. I don't know, probably some pigeons. Or just the wind. This place would be awesome to camp in overnight. You'd have to bring some beers. Got cracks in my windshield from stones. I just get a ton of that, man. I got, I don't know, since the last review, probably another five or six more. There's a couple there. There's another one down there. I got a big crack. And you know what? I'm not going to replace the windshield right now because I'm going to wait till it's basically falling in because I know what will happen. As soon as I change that windshield out, a rock will come through it. So it's kind of windy here for the mic. I've got another mic, but it's just as bad as this one. So we'll see how this goes. Um, this is my, of course, 100,000 kilometer review. I've had this over three years now and I've got 100k on it and I'm just going to kind of touch base with what's happened with it um, any repairs and all that stuff these things are still around because they're built like bloody tanks check out this wall uh, this looks like true 2x6 and they're on flat and it's kind of like a Jenga structure but check that out man that's not going anywhere just solid goodness right there So basically, um, it's been over 100K. I just clicked over. I'm on my way to the Badlands. I'm kind of starting to get into the Badlands now. And really, guys, there's nothing been wrong with this thing. That might surprise some people. Uh, back in the day when I had a brand new Tacoma, the first ones when they came out, um, I was pretty young. It was 96, and I got my first Tacoma. I was leasing it for four years, and I put 90 or just under 100,000 on it. And... I was blown away. I've had all kinds of shit boxes in the past. Most of them are just kind of ones I just held, you know, keep together. Didn't have the money to buy anything half decent. This thing gets used. It's in four wheel drive a lot of the time. Most of the winter it's in four wheel drive where I live. We get a ton of snow. So it's just been kicking butt. I can't say uh, there's nothing negative about this thing. To me anyway, there's been nothing wrong with it. Not a door latch, not nothing's fell off, not a screw, not a bulb. Um, nothing has burnt out. It just, it's a machine. So now that I hit 100K, 
my maintenance is, my maintenance is uh, another oil change. So I've been doing that myself lately. So this is the old siding that keeps flowing off of the grain silo here. Oh, it's windy. Yeah, that's where we just were. We just panned out of that doorway. And there's uh, that walkway going in there. That's the grain elevator. But this is cool here. Um, you can imagine what this is. This is a uh, community, uh, this is a community shitters. So there's one there, you can see it. So basically that's the door. You can see the door on that, uh, that 45 on the door to keep it square and straight. And this would be the roof. And you can see there's one here, another one there, and another one. So there's three areas. And I'll pull back so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's it. So this guy, would be like that and that side's the roof and that's the back there but of course it's blown over it's the winds can come up here like easy 60 miles an hour uh, you know over 100k easily so that's kind of cool I printed off the maintenance um, schedule from Toyota and there's really, you really don't do much with these things. You just, you just drive them. So I haven't done anything to it. Um, basically what, um, the only changes I've done, like I say, is the tires. And I've put on uh, something that I can hold my phone on. I had uh, the last review I did, I'll put a link into that uh, review of the 4Runner in the description below. But what I did last time was I had a stinking phone mount that was crap. So I replaced that and I got a great one now. It's been absolutely awesome. So those boards on the, this old building here, they're on an angle like that. They're on a 45 and they're nailed into those studs just so uh, to keep it up. Otherwise, it's just going to blow over. So that's why they're nailed on the angle like that. Uh, whoopsie, I didn't run into that old beer bottle. That's good. So this is a little bit different than the last time you saw it. I, I think I had this head, but I had it mounted in this uh, in the vent louvers and it sucked. It was really bad. It was just crap. So, uh, you know, it kept, it blocked the heat for one thing and cooked the phone. It was just a pain in the butt. So I got rid of it and I kept the head and the head is, uh, uh, you know, you just put your phone on there and it charges it automatically. You don't have to plug the phone in. And I also had put in, where are you here? Um, like a little factory outlet for a USB charger. So anyway, that's that's powering this guy. And what this is, and I'll put a link to it in the description below. I believe it's called an iAudi. I can't remember the name. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. This thing has not moved, man, and it's been beaten up, and it didn't. Uh, it hasn't come off. It's just amazing. And it, it, this kind of telescopes and pops up and down. This thing's been epic. So I'm definitely recommending this guy. He's not in the way. Uh, I see some people, they drill um, ram mounts into the side of the plastic. And I, you know what, I'm not at that stage of drilling holes in my Forerunner yet. Maybe in a few more years, I'll start drilling holes in it. But right now, this thing works awesome. A buddy of mine um, that I have uh, was with on the channel here, a falconry, a falconry friend of mine, he uses a big one of these and has an iPad on it to track the Falcon and he's had no issues with it and that's a big honk and you know iPad. So that's highly recommended. This thing has been amazing. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to buy one of those. I think they're pretty cheap, cheap as dirt. Um, but that's the guy. Again, this head is different. I got this, oh God, I can't remember where I got this, but again, it just powers in to the USB and plugs in below. And away you go. It's dusty and dirty most of its life. I get it washed and clean and then I come out to places like this and of course it gets covered in dirt and dust again. So um, I do maintain it right uh, the way you're supposed to. Oil changes when it's supposed to get oil changes and, and do the routine stuff. So that's pretty um, normal stuff. But again, not a light bulb, not a switch, nothing has broken and this thing has been used and used hard. Here it is. 
that beauty. And the train tracks would have come right through here. They peeled them up, which is weird. Um, usually you can find them. And they would come around. There's the Forerunner. There's that other building. Um, and you can see where the tracks went right through here. And I'll show you over there. That's uh, there's a. You can see where the bridge was. But we're just going to cruise over here now. And we're going to take a look at the river. So it's a little early in the season. Um, but this place is absolutely epic in the summer when everything's overgrown and this grass is blowing around in the wind and it's probably five feet tall. Yeah, it's just awesome. Here's that little creek that that bridge crosses. Something here. That's part of the railroad tracks. Tetanus shot in here. Yeah, so there it is. It's a little creek running through here. This cart that's way out. Uh, this is like a little finger from the main Badlands. This little spot right now. It's a big coulee, they call it out this way. But yeah, that's it. And oh yeah, you can see the bridge here that I was talking about. And it is right there. That was from the old train. Yeah, I picked this up March 11th, 2018. Um, so it's just been over, uh, you know, just been over three years now, and I've got 100K on it. The reason it's only got 100K on it because I got that little Rav 4 going, and I've been using that a lot instead of uh, beating up the Forerunner. The Toyotas just they just kill it. I'm I'm they just I'm a Toyota fan. I'm not a fanboy, but I've had I think I'm at my 40th vehicle now. So. I've had a few, so I'm not just a new guy um, with a Toyota. I've had a bunch of Toyotas, and uh, they really last. I've had a bunch of American-made stuff, too, 